Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'll be showing you how to build a Great Helm and Teutonic Knight surcoat. Enjoy! So the first thing I did was I got this plate of cardboard right here and then I bent it a bunch of times against the corrugation and then I bent it in half so it's even on both sides. Now hoping you have some kind of mat like I do which is a cutting mat. I'm using these lines and relative to that slant, which is on the front of the great helm, I'm gonna cut a straight line going up the back here, just like so, and I did the same to the top. Now it should look like this. So this is basically for the first half of the top of the front of the head, and then we're gonna grab another piece of cardboard identical to that one, and then we're gonna bend this against the corrugation too. And I folded it in half again, and then I basically traced the initial pattern on. So I trimmed it a little bit further back, and now we're just going to glue both of these pieces together. And then once those sides are glued together, you should have this big piece right here. And as you can see, it is starting to resemble the geometry of the Great Helm already. We just need to build the bottom portion, and then this is like where the eyes would be. Then we have another bent piece of cardboard about 15 inches long and we're gonna glue it to the back of the helm just like this so i cut another piece of cardboard just like this but with two slants i did that by folding it in half and cutting one slant and now i'm going to glue this straight to the face of the great helm but before you do glue it i cut a big chunk out right where the eyes are gonna go So the way I got the profile for this shape right here is when it was still uh, hollow like that, I flipped it upside down and then spread it out with one of my hands and with another hand, I traced it with a Sharpie marker and then I just traced the inside as best as I could and then I had to edit the shape a little bit. But eventually I got here and that is going to hold the helmet open. And right here I made a two inch thick strip of cardboard that stretches two feet. And we're just going to glue this right around the eye slit I made, just like so. Then I cut out some eye slits, and then I cut them out bigger. Then I poked a bunch of holes in the face using the corrugation lines as a guide. Now I'm going to cut out a slanted piece like this and then glue it to the forehead, just like so. And then this piece goes right here. And here's how it looks so far. Now, it's time to add some rivets. I do that by just gluing on dots of hot glue all over the thing I'm building. Here's my progress after about five minutes. This is probably the most time consuming part, but it makes it look amazing when it's finished. Also, I added this ring of cardboard around uh, just for some more depth and detail and to just seal off this piece of uh, what will look like steel. And now I just realized I decided I want to cut out where that blue line is I drew just to, you know, increase the bottom of the face's uh, surface area. It's like I added a few more holes and a few more rivets and this is what it looks like. Now I have the helmet flipped upside down. I have this um, duct tape roll glued onto another scrap piece of cardboard right here. And I'm gonna put glue on this rim and I'm gonna glue it right down there, just like that. That's so I can put a piece of foam on that and then it will sit on my head properly because the forehead is very tall. Well, I don't need a piece of foam there because that gives me enough room, but I am gonna use these two pieces of um, foam I got from a package. I put some contact cement on them and they're going to go on the sides next to like my ears and the temple of my head just to stabilize the helmet. Now the last thing we have to do is just go paint this guy. So I primed it with black and now I'm gonna hit it with this uh, finished metallic silver. And here it is, fully painted. 
Now, if you want, you can paint this part gold if you want to add some more detail to your night. Uh, but I like this just plain silver for now. If I want to, I can always paint this gold or black or something. But yeah, it's up to you. So now that this great helm is complete, I'm going to do something else for you guys that I know you'll appreciate. I'm going to make another surcoat for a Teutonic night. Start that by picking up the thing I just drew on the ground, which is actually some uh, things of fabric I got from Walmart. You can also get this from Michael's Arts and Crafts or Amazon, but they're just uh, regular six foot by two feet uh, rolls of fabric. And I have two white ones and then one black one for the uh, cross. And then basically just follow the steps in my night surcoat video, which I actually made a few months ago. After it, cutting it down the middle, I'm going to use this piece of excess to make the surcoat longer. So here I glued the seams together with some hot glue, and now I'm just going to tape that flat and cut off this excess. Okay, so I cut a hole for my head to go through right there at the top. Now we're going to make the black cross that goes on the front. So I got another one yard thing of black fabric this time and I'm going to make a paper template and then transfer that on the cardboard. So to make the black cross, I folded a piece of paper in half and then I cut out this shape right here and then I unfolded it and I got a symmetrical piece of a cross and then I transferred that onto a piece of cardboard and I used that, folded some black fabric in half and then wherever the seam was, I placed it right there, this end on the seam cut it out, and then when I unfolded the black fabric, I got this shape right here. And then I'm gonna cut out another one, which I actually already did right here. And then when you place these two pieces onto the white fabric, it should look like that. Now I'm just gonna glue those down in place. This is uh, probably the hardest part of this entire build, but if you take your time, it'll end up being perfect. And here, the surcoat is completed. There's the black cross for the Teutonic Order. There's the uh, spliced fabric lines right there. And now we're going to suit up in my chain mail uh, made out of soda tabs and put on my helmet. I used that one yard piece of fabric and just attached the ends together at the longest side going parallel together with a piece of elastic. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Everything I didn't show you how to build in this video, I'll put a link in the description of the videos that do show you how. And now I have a Teutonic night suit, which everyone's been requesting for quite a while now.